actual makeup. Let's not turn this into something different. This is not a drama channel. I do not condone drama channels, but... What up, everyone? It's your boy, Lada Lewis. Team Real, welcome to my channel where I call out fake YouTubers and talk about YouTube drama. As you guys know, there's been a lot of people that have been reviewing John Cookian's makeup and his products. Some good reviews, some bad ones, people's eyes are burning, people's hands apparently burning, people's holes are burning, makeup is not for the butt, okay? Now recently a YouTuber by the name of Jordan Byers, for you guys who don't know who she is, she's a YouTuber with over 300,000 subscribers and she basically reviews products from makeup and other weird instruments out there. Uh, uh. Uh, and that's what she does. Now, after she reviewed John Cookian's eyeshadow, apparently there was a lot of drama in her comment sections. A lot of people thought that she was biased. I didn't see it as biased. It's just, you know, people are like, well, it's biased because she's a fan of John Cookian. Of course she's gonna say those things, but she has some negative things as well about the product. It's just kind of super messy. Can't really put them in a, like, magnetic palette at all. Huge no-no especially like when you're sending somebody like a, an eyeshadow and something like this the pan needs to be magnetic so, super super irritated but it is kind of annoying um, I mean you do get a lot of fallout when it comes to any pigmented shadow the problem is if it stains your skin it left So I don't think that I'm going to reach for these again just because they aren't magnetized so and iffy on it doesn't mean that you won't like it or dislike it. I think it's a personal thing. I didn't see it as bias. A biased review would have been like, oh my god, it is so good everyone. Buy the product, okay? I feel like it's just... I don't know, I didn't see it as a biased review. What do you guys think? Let me know in the poll. The only thing I didn't like in her channel, which really annoys me, and I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you, okay? People that say, I don't condone drama channels. Jordan was very, very, very clear about that, that she does not support uh, drama channels. And it just really irritates me that you have these people that are trying to make out as if we're this bad thing. You know, maybe I should just rename my channel and call it Martin Lewis Brutally Honest Review on YouTubers because technically you are a product. So maybe if I change it around, therefore I won't be a drama channel and I'll be like this positive uh, channel, right? Very ignorant when you say that because if it wasn't for drama channels, there's a lot of things that you guys would not know about. There are a lot of people that have been saved because of other drama channels that are so bad, you know what I mean? It just really irritates me as another content creator. It's like I jump into another, uh, like this YouTube community. Not that I care, but you have people that are like, I don't condone what you're doing. I don't like that. It's this, it's that. But yet these are the fake that are doing drama most of the time. Like legit, these people are the ones who are creating drama, lying to their audience. You guys know who Peter Mon is, I've spoken about him in the past, is another drama channel who caused some controversy. Controversy? He was also talking about Jordan and accused her for being a liar due to what John Cookian said in another video. Roll it. This is really about Jordan Byers and Nady. So let's get right into this, shall we? So on the 12th, after she posted her brutally honest review, I have it right here. Here is a tweet that Jordan Byers put out. I will read it to you. I am appalled. <laughs> Me too. At the comments on my recent video reviewing Cookie and Cosmetics, I gave an unbiased review, and that's what you're always going to get from me. I do not support drama channels. I'm just doing my job equals reviewing products. And that is exactly what I did. Well, Jordan, I think I'm gonna prove that you're a liar in less than 10 seconds. So I went to the video that was sent to me called Kylighter Scandal. I'm not in the uh, business to watch John cooking videos, but it's still up if you'd like to see it. 
And uh, within the first 40 seconds, he has many clips of Jordan Byers. And at 50 seconds, or at 40 seconds, he says that she has been a cookie. We have a cookie fan member named Jordan Byers. That's probably the best way for us to start. I think that's how you pronounce it. Now, I was confused. I will of course leave a link to her down below. And she is a long-term cookie fan. I've seen her face in the comments for a very long time. I believe we've chatted quite a lot. Now a lot of people are believing that she is a John Cookian fan and that she, you know, she's biased because she speaks to John Cookian because of what John Cookian said. But let's listen to what he said again. And she is a long-term cookie fan. I've seen her face in the comments for a very long time. I believe we've chatted quite a lot. He said, I believe we chatted quite a lot. Now, Peter Mont misquoted what John Cookian said. He even says in the video, I have spoken to her quite a few times. And when I watched that, that wasn't enough evidence for me because John Cookian lies. So how can I trust the word of John Cookian? Like, how can I just trust what John Cookian says? It's John Cookie and he's known for lying. So why am I going to listen to what he said? You know, and that what led me into looking more deeper after someone tweeted this. Basically pointed out some tweets that contradict what she's saying. As you guys know, she says she doesn't condone drama channels, but yet she posted this on her Twitter. If you're curious about the Z palette drama, I was referring to go check out John Cookian's video on it. He spills all the tea with receipts. Do not condone drama channels, but I thought you don't, you know, condone drama channels, but yet you're gonna support one of the worst drama channels out there that, like I said, lies, manipulates, allegedly scams, bullies. You're gonna support someone like that, but yet you don't condone them. Do you, do you understand the hypocrisy in that? Now, because people are like, oh, well, you were following him and this and that. She ended up tweeting saying, Before he started making drama videos, he made art videos. No drama involved, just art. How bad to support art? Once the drama video started, I stopped supporting. That's a lie. She continues supporting John Cookian. If you look at the tweet that she posted on 16 November, she goes, I get so freaking excited when the notification from a new John Cookian video pops up. Now, when I went to John Cookian's channel and I looked at the videos um, that he posted on the 16th of November and after, uh, before, there was a lot of drama videos there. I, I don't see no arts and crafts. Oh, there's one with Nicki Minaj where he basically, not Nicki Minaj, mm. Nicki Tutorials. When he's basically saying that Nikki Tutorials inspired Leech Halloween when, you know, that's arts and craft, but he's basically saying Nikki Tutorial is a leech. Um, I don't know that much about that drama. I'm not going to comment on that because I don't watch her, so I can't really make that comment and say she's a leech. Quite clear that you support drama. So, so basically, you one of those freak drama girls, those freaky drama girls. You know those people in the DL? Well, you got DL drama in the bed. They're, they're, they're sitting there in their bed watching drama. <laughs> mm, I love this drama. Coconut water. Mm. Hashtag not sponsored. Th that's what it is. We are guilty pleasure. I know it. I've always been saying it, you know. I even wanted John Cook in to start beef with you once. And there was even one time you were concerned. Why did John Cook in not post videos on YouTube anymore? This tells me that you've been watching his drama videos that you do not condone because you're about having a positive place, which seems like a, a bullshit place because lying to your audience is not positive. So because she lied about those things, could she possibly be lying about her not talking, you know, her and John Cookie and not talking? Maybe so. There's not enough hardcore proof to show that there is a conversation or they are talking behind the scenes. And at the end of the day, the product to me, the review that she has wasn't biased. But as you might, you know, my channel is about calling fake YouTubers. She's definitely a certified fake YouTuber because she has not been honest with you guys. And that's definitely not cool. Especially when you try to make out as if drama channels are, the, you know, this real negative thing. Anyway, guys, I know I'm your guilty pleasure. I know I'm your guilty pleasure, Jordan. So hit that subscribe button with the bell. Smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in another video drama video.
Why you have to lie? Bezo talé. Why you have to lie to everybody? Mama, cunhão, hein?